I can't get over my hair my, in, the, in the thing. Hi, everybody. We are here for another adventure called Not Playing Life is Strange with Paul. <laughs> uh, right? Is that what this series is called? I don't, I yeah. don't know. But we also love death so much. We do. We can't get away from it. Yeah. I, although I don't like zombie killing death, I've, I've realized as I've tried to play some games recently. I wasn't into that. But regular death? Good old fashioned death is great, which is why we've chosen, not really, but what remains of, of Edith Finch. Now I put a a new feature, or at least I've never seen it before, in the chat where it's a YouTube poll, which I, maybe I just never noticed they had this. I was always doing polls on stream elements, but um, oh. to see if you've played it before. So let me know in the chat if you um, vote yep or nope, if you've played this before. If you haven't, as we discussed, it's going to be about death today. <laughs> so I was warning Paul about this too, uh, based on what I said. Any concerns there, Paul? No, I'm <laughs> I'm good for it. I have I have a friend. So so you've mentioned a couple times this game. Yeah. Uh, but I have another friend who has been mentioning it for years that I should play it. Arguably, um, I have too, but that's fine. That's true. That's true. <laughs> So when whether you remember or not, but when Paul and I first virtually met um, in some of his live streams, I was there asking him to to play this game forever since it was like the first game that I recommend outside of Life is Strange. OK, um, then, yes, then it was, I have I was multiple there. friends for multiple years <laughs> telling me this game's amazing. Yeah, it's just really creative. So um, in terms of the death, let's talk about that for a little bit. Um, I was telling Paul this beforehand. Um, the uh, the this isn't giving anything away but essentially you're trying to discover kind of what happened in this family um and and uh well you'll learn but there's you know bad things happen in this family and each kind of character within the family has gone through some sort of a crazy death and um it's really interesting and creative how the game is is created and how you learn about what happened um but there are definitely some pretty high trigger warning situations. The problem mm. is, is I played this so long ago, I don't remember what those are. So I cannot hit the trigger warning graphic like I normally do with Life is Strange. So I'm just gonna tell you right now, trigger warning across the board. There's one in particular that I do know that I'm like, oof, that one gets me. But um, there's probably more. So yay. <laughs> so Life is Strange, you knew everything that was gonna happen. The monster hookup game we just played, you had Nothing. no idea. In this game, you you point. almost have like a dreamlike knowledge that terrible I things like are going to happen. That I well, I know terrible things are going to happen, but like what terrible? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that, and I also remember happiness and joy while playing it, which is funny and weird. <laughs> oh, good. Be okay, because what well, it's about death. So, um, I know a few of you have said that you have played before and you're excited to keep going. So that is awesome. Um, I'm really excited about that. So as we're um. Going through, ooh, 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 Mossy, let's look at that. So this was the first narrative-based game I played that really captivated me, so it's really special to me. This is like the second one after Life is Strange. I am totally with you. I, I think it's amazing the way that it grabs you. Mossy, have you ever played, and, and Tina, I know you haven't, but Mossy, have you ever played The Artful Escape, which right. is also an Anna Perna release? And I didn't know... I did okay. not know Edith Finch was Anna Perna. Okay. Did not know. Artful Escape just makes your heart happy. It is so great. Okay. Um, I didn't so, know that either, and I'm definitely going to need to check that out. Yeah, we should play that. It is yeah. just a fun, goofy. Yay. Um, and like every Anna Perna game, it's like you're emotionally devastated at some parts. <laughs> and then, like, I, I think that's what they do. Like, before they think about developing a game, they're like, how much crying, how much smiling does the ratio work? <laughs> Great. What is this smile, cry to smile ratio? <laughs> smile to cry ratio. And then, you know, multiplied somehow to the how long does this stick with you kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This Well, this is a perfect segue to our ratings. So part of this series is um, basically comparing these games that I'm going to be playing with Paul and myself uh, to the superior game series, Life is Strange. So as a reminder, we did this with our last game, Monster Party. Um, here are the, the rating categories. Connection to characters, investment in story, self-reflection opportunity, choices and consequences. This one doesn't have any. Um, I'll just say that right away. Um, vibe created, 
It does have a vibe. Um, and then some like bonus points. Is it music driven, romance potential, real world issues, intuition slash paranormal, maybe slash kind of like eerie, strange elements, um, mm -hmm. artistic expression, nostalgia. I think this one's going to get like low points because of these categories. <laughs> But Got it's it. a great game. I need to I need to change the categories. <laughs> so the other thing too, Paul, we are we are not playing the game all the way out today unless we're super speedy, right? We're changing things up. Yeah, and I am not. Guys, if if you know how I play, I <laughs> it, either I'm really bad and it takes me a long time to get to the next level, or I just really take my time. So I see it's between talking to all of you all and talking to mm. each other. And all those things, um, I mean, we just can't, we just, like, we can't play a game in a normal amount of time. And that's okay. I like that about us. <laughs> no, that's a great, that's a great point. I think part of the audience needs to take, take a little bit of, of the blame, accept that blame. Uh, take that, it all. You know, it's all, it's it all. all your fault. It's all, it's all your you guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we love it, but realize it's your fault. Yeah, it's totally your fault. Yeah. Um, Masi says, um, have not played it. But it is wishlisted. So, oh, you're going to like go. it. Yeah. What were you going to say? Gonna Sorry. Like Thank you. So, I was going to say, by the way, I was not aware of this, but if during the game I am making like weird facial expressions, I apologize for my face. What? Well, here's the thing I was at a photo shoot this weekend and I was, I was filming some stuff, and uh, the person who was talking was, was kept laughing. And the person who was like assisting me filming it, they said, stop making that face, Paul. And I'm like, that's my face. What? That, I got. I want to know what me. face this is. That's, what face is this? <laughs> it was just. It was me looking serious. But I guess me looking serious is like a very weird kind of like funny serious. So, anyways, this is just a public service announcement. I apologize if this uh, uh, throws you off. And I, during a serious moment of this game, if if my face weirdly caused you to laugh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm pulling you out of this sad moment. I, I am so one. curious right now about the serious face. And I also have not noticed any weird faces from you ever that would take me out of the moment. And I'm feeling like I want to have a talking to this person. <laughs> I think this was a, I think this was a face because I was like trying to be serious, but like not make eye contact. So I think I was doing this. Okay. So, okay. So I think maybe the eyebrows, I should have brought the eyebrows down a little bit because yeah, right, anyways. right. <laughs> anyways. Okay, I can kind of see how that looks like you're putting a face on to like um to like do something intentionally on purpose, but like no, that's just like I'm I'm actively listening while focusing on you. Yeah, no, I get it. But please, chat, let him know <laughs> cuz this mm -hmm. is a serious situation, just like mm -hmm. death, mm -hmm. which is what we're going to do right now. <laughs> Ooh, transitions. Transitions. <laughs> it was such a good transition, wouldn't you agree? Man. So good. Okay. So I hear oh I hear I hear maybe ocean sounds. Is that Mm-hmm. That's what I'm hearing. Like static y? Yeah. Uh yeah, chat. Okay. Can you guys hear ocean sounds? It sort of sounds static y, but I assume that's it's like shh, 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 shh. Let's see. Let's play the game and we'll see what happens. Yeah, let, let us know if things are falling apart. Yeah. Oh, I hear some birds, I assume. Okay. That's, a yeah, I hear. Perfect. And I'm sorry about that. And let us know, I too, if it's loud enough. With the house. That's the house. It's the house. Oh. I'm all right. Like this, oh. they are so good at atmosphere. We lost your face. Yes, you were frozen. Happen, but I wasn't. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> you were frozen. We have oh, your audio. No. <laughs> um, let me try to fix that. Huh? I wonder why. I didn't notice when it happened. Maybe y'all let us know. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a clue. Oh boy. Usually we have audio tech issues. Now it's video. Why would? that happen okay we're gonna crack this mystery guys i think didn't this happen before and then you like exited and came back in and it was fine yeah no it's funny before streaming though i i i went and fixed this what i thought was going to be the issue so oh darn um darn yeah 
Okay, well, while we're working on that, um, okay, so we have a little bit more in the poll. Um, people responded. Um, it's getting close to 50-50 played, so that's cool. I like that. Um, I'm curious, so those of you that have played, let me know in the chat. Or actually, those of you that haven't, let me know in the chat. Oh, okay. the music's louder now. Oh, it got louder? I don't know if it just got louder or if you did something. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to bounce out real fast okay. and then I'm going to see if I can figure this out. So Sounds good. <laughs> I love um how the still face is just is Paul's um serious face, but it's the actual serious face. It's not his um eyebrow raise one that he talked about. So, if you're just joining in, Paul is exiting and coming back in cuz his camera froze. <gasps> Justine, yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you. Yay, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Wow, okay, let's throw on your comment here. Um, man, yeah, thank you so much. Hello, it's, oh, I can't, oh man, I need my, I need my glasses. Oh, 1 a.m. here, and I really wanted to say, stay awake to wish you a nice live stream. This game is a gem. Yes, totally agree. Um, I have played this one before, but it was a really long time ago. Mighty greetings from Switzerland. Don't mind the donation I'm offering at the coffee door. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. I, I um, want you to go to sleep, <laughs> but I hope you can stay for a little bit maybe. But it sounds like Paul has some tech issues anyway, so we'll see. Maybe uh, it, it will get picked up another day. We'll see. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you. Thank you. Um, definitely agree. This is an amazing game. Um, and... I'm glad to see that um, we have a, a pretty good mix of people that haven't played it and have played it um, to experience it. Um, if you, oh, I was going to ask, I was going to ask the people that have played it to say if there's a certain story that you like the best or worst, but I also um, don't want to give anything away for those that haven't. So I'm really torn, but I want to, I want to know. I also want to know that. Um, hmm. Well, if you can cryptically offer <laughs> a, a um, story, um, I'll tell you the one that triggers me the most is the, um, well, I'll just say the baby one. I don't, that one, I can't, I can't handle it. And I think a lot of them are really cool, but I think the, um, the one with the fish, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, the reason I like that one is is like the controller. Like you really feel like you're in the game completely. Like you're in and you're this person doing those monotonous things. And it is like the coolest, coolest experience to me. If you haven't played this, you have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, Paul's joining again. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Oh, you're moving. You're moving. Uh, okay. I'm okay. Everything's working so far. Great. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's. Did you figure out what it was, or is it a mystery? We'll share your um screen too. It's uh, it's, <laughs> it's a, a mystery. mystery. Oh. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. I unplugged <laughs> like like a like a sophisticated tech person. I unplugged things and plugged them back in. And, and ta da, ta da, ta da. So it worked. Let's. We'll let's see what hope. happens. It, <laughs> it happened on a meeting earlier today, but then oh. I was. But restarting everything worked for that. So I'm hoping. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 We'll see how it goes. All okay. right. Um, yeah. Just share. I can hear the audio already. Um, but if you just share okay. the um, game screen, then we'll yes, jump in. That would be important. Yeah. I'm asking people their like favorite slash not favorite ones um, without trying to give away anything too much. So I'm glad you missed some of that. And I'm not going to oh, share good. it on the screen because, but yes, I'm with you all. Okay. Let's okay. go. Let's do it. Great. So we already started playing. For those of you just joining, Paul had a camera issue. Um, so he just, it, we just got like a small intro and that was it so far. Okay, cool. I'm watching your face. I'm watching. By the way, your face was frozen on a, an actual serious face, not a, the one you gave. So it was kind of a nice juxtaposition. <laughs> oh, hello. Yay, I'm so excited we're doing it. This is why the controller, this is why, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Open immediately. Is that loud enough for you? Um, I can't necessarily tell because my headphones are, are just here, but in the chat, 
Is the game audio okay or should we turn it up a touch? I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. So, so ominous. Are you intrigued yet, Paul? You, I'm intrigued, and I love, I love good text graphics. I love good text graphics. Yeah, it's not just at the bottom, as you'd expect. It's part of the scene. I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm not going the to the main house. house Even after I inherited play around. House, yeah. I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. Hmm. As if they're about to say something but never do. Oh, okay. A finch is missing, or was? Oh, I don't think I saw that one. So, if again, if you're just joining, I haven't played this in years, like maybe 2018 or something, like a really long time. Um, so I don't Mil really remember everything here. Milton Finch. Okay. So you heard about Lewis's funeral. You heard now mm -hmm. Milton is missing. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. That's cool. Huh. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. So, Paul, okay. channel your 17-year-old. I was I was just going to say, I sound really young. Yeah, and, and like, you've inherited a house at 17, too. That's interesting. I don't know if I processed that when I first played it. Like, you're underage, but maybe it's legal still? Like, wouldn't this be in the, the, a trust until you're 18? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. It's just for like, who cares? That's, that is that is such the adult in us being like, well, this should be in a trust, and a seventeen-year-old could not manage such a home. Yes. Okay, somebody's in a wheelchair. Yes, Mac. The atmosphere is dark and scary. Um, if you missed the beginning, this is a game about death. Um, so warnings there. Many different types of death you will encounter today, and yeah. Um, the girl okay. gives Max. Are you saying girl gives Max vibes or something? But I, I would agree with that. Yeah. So my idea is that Milton is dead, and they were trying. They're trying to hide his body under flowers. Okay. And that's why they got all the fertilizer. Flowers? Just my first pitch. Flower my... shop, Eleanor. No, that was oh that was that was a God. stretch. That was a big stretch. Oh, the connections are deep. I hope the key might unlock the front door. That was a big one. It didn't. See, this is why you don't give a house to a seventeen-year-old. She doesn't know where keys are yeah. going. So, for those of you that haven't played it, I felt oh, like the house itself had been waiting for me. With when you use a controller, you're actually like lifting up and moving, like opening the mailbox, lifting up the thing. It really feels like you're doing the actions. Thank you, Paul, for the demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a 17 year old girl right now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
should I be giving up on the door this quickly? Um, you should just explore. Okay, that's yeah. Yeah. And see what happens. But in general, your 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 plan is to get in the house at some point. Yes. Milton. Milton, you? are you in there? Oh no! With the with the potting soil, you think? Mm -hmm. You do. Um. Mac, I don't remember if there's any choking death, but there are a lot of different types. Um, they're all very creatively shown. You um, don't actually the see the death. It be a lot easier when I was 11. Okay, can we can we just say, like, this is a very uh, tiny wisp of a woman. Yes. Who can fit through a doggy door. And you, you are feeling what it's like to be in the body. <sighs> of a woman, oh of a child, of a teenager, I mean, going through such dark times, we think, and- the power had been turned off just the night we left. In her body here. So she's been there before the night we left. She was here for the funeral, Lewis's funeral, getting all sorts of interesting tidbits. Mm -hmm. A canoe, all right. Yeah, and Masi, um, Maybe explain a little bit more to in the chat about the types of things people might encounter. I don't necessarily want to say it because I don't want to give anything away to Paul. Um, but if, if if you think of any like trigger type warnings, because I know you um, remember this game pretty well and, and, and anyone that does feel free. And, and again, you don't see the actual death happening from what I there remember. is so much fertilizer. Milton. <sighs> telling you okay okay for the first time in years i felt like i was home hmm. gosh this is bringing back so many like <sighs> memories <laughs> but instead of a family there were just memories of one Oh, okay, Edith. Oh, we actually see. Okay. Edith, Eddie, Lewis, Don. Wait a second. Am I Edith? You are. Uh, actually, wait. I don't remember. I don't remember. So I, you're not supposed to know at this point. So it's good that I don't remember because <laughs> I can't okay. tell you. <laughs> so we know Lewis is dead. Wait. Right, because it was talking about his funeral. Yeah. Milton is missing. Yeah. Lewis Finch, okay. Great grandson to Eddie. Or, okay. or Edie. I, yeah, I, I don't remember. Oh, you're right. It could Edie. be either. So, so Edie is a grandmother. Lewis is a kid who died. I'm probably Edith. And then Dawn... We don't know. A Viking's belly, which is kitchen, holiday feast, flower salt. Okay. Yeah, those little white little hidden things are so cleverly hidden. <laughs> like, which, uh, you know, like that oh, one right yeah. there. It's still, they're all around and they're really hard to find. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Man, now I really want Chinese food tonight for dinner. Oh my gosh, my daughter like showed me a pizza game, and now and I like can't. I need pizza. <laughs> <laughs> or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon, except our cat Molly. Mm. Cat Molly, it's another one. That's a lot of tuna. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. That the arch with the books is just, it's so messy and so beautiful to say, like, I just, I love that. But if that was actually in your house, I, I think it would just feel so cluttered, but it's just beautiful looking in this. 
it's kind of funny. I know we're playing a video game, but it is kind of funny how it's like it would drive you nuts if it was yours. But when you go see somebody else yeah. have it, you're like, oh, I really admire that. Yeah. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Hmm. Hmm. Dora looks pretty sealed there. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sorry. So the thing that sucks me into these games is like mm -hmm. some of the titles are revealed and then some are not. So I'm like, yes, you need to find everything. It's so true. Yes. Yeah. It's like, which, okay, this all must be a clue. And I'm like, oh boy, I'm getting sucked in. Yeah. No, it's so true. Which, I mean, that's the mark of a good game. So mm -hmm. oh, Barbara. Another name. Oh, I have to make a circle and I can't do it. There we go. See, it's cool with the controller. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Oh. She's so oh. cute. Look at this. Uh huh. Is she a movie star? Possibly. Um, oh, wait, look at it. There might have been like something that revealed. I don't know. Like maybe there's something in it. I don't know for sure, but it seems like that might be the case. Like after it, it comes out, like maybe it's a. Okay. I don't know. It, it might. I feel like I remember because you got to find keys and stuff. So they definitely are in these like weird contraptions. Oh, gotcha. And I'm not saying it is here. So <laughs> if you don't feel moved to look at it. Nope, I'm in it now. Wee! Wee! Give me a key. I think it also gets me because there's like, nope, okay, nothing. Because like right next to it, that's a key. So it just like made me think that there's a key associated with that. Got it. Okay. Oh, maybe Mom the key always told me to stay out of have... the basement. So I wasn't too surprised <clears throat> when the key didn't fit. Mm. Nope. Nope. Right. Mystery key. Oh, is that like the key to the top bedroom or something? <sighs> Even the fireplace had a story. Ooh. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Hmm. I feel so weird. Like I'm excited about playing this. So I have a smile on my face. <laughs> okay. You'd be like, no, the this table is was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone, but sparing the furniture. Oh, here we go. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine great grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna head upstairs. And this woman loved to read. Okay, hold on one second. I let the cat out. All right, get out of here. Now, I know all y'all in the chat are making comments that this is a horrible game. And I hope that's because of the deaths that you're not prepared for. Because <laughs> it's Wait, not. They... It's amazing. <laughs> no, disappeared. Mac and Mom Zachary just know it's stuff. just like about death. Then you know. retaliated and <laughs> Got it. Holes. Oh, sorry. Kind of missed that. So... I, for, I didn't actually see what it said before that, but Edie retaliated and drew peepholes. So basically, like, doors were sealed, and I don't, I didn't see what the text said, and then, but then peepholes were there. So, like, you can enter that room, but, like, look at the one yeah. behind you. You'll see there's a peephole in it. Um, 
and you the can one kind over of, here? yeah, you should be able to look in it from what I remember. Oh, I see. And it says their name. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. <laughs> huh. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, like the reverse, the reverse people. Yeah. Like that episode of Seinfeld. Exactly. It's exactly like that. Now we're talking. Um, you know what? I wonder. Do you know, is there, if you do miss any of the graph? Let's see. Oh, the good question. I don't know. I don't think you can. But okay. yeah, I think it basically. Did, if anybody of you caught it, let, let us know. Why were the doors sealed? I know that there is like talk of a curse on this family. Um, and so okay. maybe that's what it was about. Um, but let let us know um, if you remember what it said. Or if you can rewind and let us know what it said. <laughs> let us know in the chat. Why is Edie nuts? Okay. I got a picture very similar to that. I used to have blonde hair. Oh, we got so. it. The text said oh, oh, after oh, Milton oh. disappeared. Hold on. Let me hold on. A second. Let me just put this. Okay. On. Okay. Thank okay. you, Zachary. Um, after Milton disappeared, mom sealed up the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So mom. So the our our protagonist's mom is the one that's okay. Up. Oh, she was. Mm hmm. Go Whenever Barbara. people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Hmm. Because she'd be famous. <laughs> oh. Where's this? Oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Oh. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Well, well, well. That is quite a door. <laughs> Can that you imagine is. that? That's insane. There's no key. Okay, I guess I got to come in the other side then. Yeah, you know all hmm. about that, don't you, Paul? You know all. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Oh, so that's Odin. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, no, you're, no one's going to be quizzed on these names right now. You will eventually learn all about them. That's Odin, the all-father. I spent father. a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. For my Norwegian I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Mm, okay, well, it's the only room I can go into. So. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Mm -hmm. Oh, a key, huh? Huh? Is, could it be? She's looking at it. Oh, Ooh. we're in. Turns you actually again have to like move it. Keeping secrets. This house is nuts. Now so it was time good. to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Your first room. <sighs> what? Okay. Cool. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Hmm. But I had no idea what was behind that door. <sighs> Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Saving. You know something important is going to happen if you do. See that? Okay, so this was Molly's room. Wait, yes, okay. Wait, I'm sorry, but didn't Molly die in 1947? I believe so, yes. Okay, yeah, I guess all this stuff is old. Yeah, I, it looked, I was like, this is too contemporary. But yeah. I, yeah. So okay. that's the portrait that my face on the thumbnail is of the one that's right above December this. December 15, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Now you're Molly. Okay. Oh, yeah. you're frozen again! <laughs> Am I... Oh, 
<laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder if it's like being triggered by something with sharing the other screen or something. Huh, interesting. Yeah. Well, interesting and annoying. Let's see if that does it. Watching, watching. You also, again, have a, seri a normal serious face, just in case you were concerned. <laughs> For those of you that didn't hear in the beginning while well, Paul's troubleshooting, um, he got a comment that his face was weird when he was trying to make a serious face. And so he wanted us to let him know if we saw any weirdness in his facial expressions tonight. So far, I have seen none, but you'll be sure to let him know. <laughs> yeah, Zachary, okay, who, you're saying he's so fine. Who's so fine? What are you talking about? Who, wait. Who? Oh, are you talking about? Oh, wait, are you are you talking about the frozen Paul? Is that what you're talking about? Elbows, seriously? It's a game about death and you're upset there's no guns. And Mac is upset that it's a game about death. So we can't help anyone. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, Zachary. Talking about Paul. Yeah, he's got this like sultry kind of look, doesn't he? Should I, let me take a picture of it so that he can see what we're, you know, all the fuss is about. Hold on. I'll send it to him later. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, stupid microphone. Sultry. I got your comment in there too. <laughs> okay, so while we're waiting for the frozen screen, which may keep happening, what's gonna happen here? Um, we, <laughs> um, there's a lot of death in here. You don't see the death as we've talked about, um, but it goes through each character. Um, but it's re it's like amazingly creative how you have to get into, oh, that's fun. How you have to get into the, um, the rooms. Oh, he's back. He's back. Um, and Hi. then you, you hear the story. So now we're finally, um, in the first story of the first the first situation where Molly has died. We don't know the situation, but now Paul is, is, has become Molly. He was a 17 year old woman. And now <laughs> he is 10, I believe. <laughs> it's a real Benjamin Button situation. I'm just getting younger and younger. Um, yeah. So if, if, if anybody's wondering out there, what's going on? Uh, I figured it out. I, oh. I tested all the cables. I think it's just the USB cable from, just or something. um, I think it's just kind of like going on the fritz every once in a oh. while. So anyways, so I, I'll now, replace that. But mm. pl Plug and unplug I, I and it's good to go kind of thing. Yeah. And yeah. I set it up now where it's like the plug and unplug is literally right here. So when it happens in the future, because it probably will, it's yeah. literally, it'll take five seconds. We'll all keep an eye on it because here's the thing. I don't know if you heard that. Zachary was just like, you be looking fine frozen. I got a picture of it for you so I can send it to you later. It was just like, mm. so lots of comments about your, your like sultry. Well, I guess I said the word sultry that well, wasn't said well, specifically, but <laughs> when I go out, when I go out, I should just kind of hit that one pose and just walk around like that the whole time. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Molly. Okay. We are Molly. Right. And it said the last text was saying that she got up hungry. She was sent to bed without dinner and now is looking around for food. And literally when it said looking around for food, the first little, uh, little dot that I saw was this by like, like a gerbil. And I was like, I do not want to eat gerbil food. That is, uh, yeah. Seems like a horrible option. I actually saw the dot and thought it was a bunny. Molly <laughs> candy was all gone. I'm sorry, Molly. The gerbil food oh. was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh, oh I there you go. <laughs> you did it. Okay. okay. No choice. All right. Desperate times. Hmm. It's, I see you, Dot. <laughs> Yeah, that's so interesting. I can't. I thought there about eating Christopher, but I held back. Oh, don't yeah. eat the, the the fishy. That's a good choice. Oh my God, Molly! Oh, <laughs> What's wrong? Zachary says, "Eat the fish, girl." <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh, that's a restroom. Cargo potty. I kept eating and eating. Wait, what? Uh -huh. 
She's oh. hungry. Yeah. All right, I'm staying away from the toilet. I ate a lot of things that night. Okay. Then I heard chirping outside my window. And I ate that bird. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. And I knew that she'd lead me to eggs you and I was hungry. Watch I out what you wish for. <laughs> oh, no. You're kidding. I don't kidding. remember. <laughs> oh, God, no. And suddenly... <laughs> I was a cat. So good. Oh, I, don't, I don't want to eat a bird. But you're a cat, Paul. Yeah, that's true. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. I'm so I'm smiling. I need to not be smiling. I'm just excited. I'm a cat. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Sleeping. Huh. Okay. Loud snoring through the window. <laughs> that is. <laughs> there we go. Oh, a sad kitty. There we go. Gonna get her. I jumped. I almost got her. <laughs> I could tell she was getting really tired. Oh, jeez. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Oh, no! I gobbled so her up. No. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Little teeth nibbling in the grass. Okay. Oh, I remember this one. I remember not liking it because it's hard. I feel like. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta find a mouse. Can you go down or to like see? Oh, there we go. I see. There we go. Oh. Oh, sorry. Again, I can't do trigger warnings. I'm sorry. Oh, oh no. noises. No. Close your ears. <laughs> oh, no. This is oh. the worst ASMR ever. Oh, something bigger, Paul. I'm going to have something bigger. I don't. Okay, Masi says, yeah, this part's disturbing. I, again, it's been many years since I played this. I don't remember, but yes, all the trigger warnings. Wait, it's another rabbit. Oh, oh. Okay, close your ears, everyone. Close your ears. Don't do it. Don't do it. Paul, stop it, Paul. I just got the stop achievement. It. Great owl. I'm a great owl. Stop. Oh, God. This is so bad. Why did I make you play this? I was a shark. Oh, this is the one I feel like I didn't like. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna die out here. You gotta flop gotta... yourself into the waterfall. You just gotta keep flopping. Oh God, I'm so. <laughs> Shark simulator. I rolled off the cliff. <laughs> now, I was hungrier than ever. Yeah, I think Wonder something with the controls uh, like in the water I think, I think, well, water in general, like even steering a boat in regular water, like it's just not my thing. I can't do it. So that's why I, I think I found this one really frustrating. Like, and then you have to also find the stuff. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, I oh no. Oh, God. Oh, no. no. I tore off her flipper and it tasted 
really good. <laughs> it's just so creepy with the ten year old saying this stuff. It's just so weird. <laughs> Get another one! Oh, it's it's the it's bleeding all in, so you gotta follow the blood, I guess, to finish it, or are you supposed to get another one? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. You're much better at this than I am. Ah! The noises, the noises, not ah. <laughs> when I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What? Am I a rope? No, I'm a you're oh. some type of an organism. <laughs> now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Uh oh. oh Am I gonna get somebody making out in a car? Oh, wait, what are those little white things that popped up? Oh my god. Yeah, it's totally like oh the noise ugh. Ugh. This you, is nuts. If you like ASMR, oh this episode God. is for you. But if you're the opposite, it's not. <laughs> Real quiet. Oh my God. This yeah. doesn't just... <laughs> so nice. So this nice. Is, this is what everybody voted for. They wanted to play Edith. You wanted to see it. You wanted to see it. I wanted to stop, but also, I didn't. <laughs> also, I didn't. <laughs> I liked it. I was hungry. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Mossy. This is a very confusing death scene. Others are much more literal. Oh! Wow. This doesn't disturb me as much as the animal does, though. Isn't that interesting? Like, it, it does. It's disturbing. But the animals are, <laughs> like, worse oh, I'm to with, me. I'm with you. Are you? Yeah. 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 Um, Mac, who are we playing now? So, like, which thing are we? We're, like, this monster thing, if, that, if that's what your question was. Still Molly as a monster. Oh, oh, oh God. Still hungry. Across the water, I saw something new. Something I had to have. Oh no! What is it? What is it? I don't this remember. Game is killing me. You don't remember? Just stick with it, Paul. Just stick with it, everyone in the chat. I promise you. I slithered on this. I don't. Okay. I don't remember what happens. I think I'm still the monster. Okay. Just being more monstery. This is definitely monstery for sure. Oh no! Oh my god! Up a toilet? That's a nightmare. Looks like a familiar bathroom. Oh my god! That's my bathroom. I got closer and closer. Trigger warning. Oh no! I'm gonna. Are, am I gonna kill myself? All my All stomachs. My <laughs> All my stomachs. And suddenly, I was me again. <sighs> I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> This child needs so much therapy. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Now, okay, but you still don't really know what happened, right? Because <laughs> like, I'm not what sure if just I happened? All that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Yeah, no, now, I, I have no idea, really. I do know that. I know. I do know what happened, but for those of you that have played. When do we find that out? Is there something in this room that explains it? Or do we find out throughout? Or did I look it up somewhere and somebody just guessed? Like, I, I don't know. So look around, because there is an explanation. Yeah, okay. right. Zachary, um, that was what I was thinking, too. And, like, the old ingredients of it. But spent a lot of time here before um, my mom sealed the doors. 
was is that just because it's like that's the conclusion people made or is that a known like we find that out somewhere that's kind of what i want to know okay so that was molly interesting wait so i'm sorry so in the chat are they saying what she died of uh, yeah, but it, I don't want to. I don't. I don't need to know yet. I, okay. I can't know yet. Masi says I think it's more about speculation. It's either in her room or it's a theory. I can't remember. I was too busy thinking about booze and women while I played this. Thank you, uh, elbows, for that. Um, <laughs> it's good. To, it's good to know. Um, the thoughts were aligned with the emotional storyline. Um, okay, so I mean, maybe in a little bit we'll tell you if if you don't come across it. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I I kind of like I, the mystery. I, and I don't know if, like, maybe you don't find out. This will be so. obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Ah, uh, so that's why the cat's name is Molly after okay. the daughter that died or the kid that died. In the family. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Okay. Shoot, I wanted to go back to Molly's room to kind of explore. We got more. along, and it was. A I good think you can. Okay, down the road I can. Yeah, because once I was on the ledge, I couldn't go back in. Oh, you might. But be able I mean, to. yeah, down the road maybe. Okay. Her room was like a museum. Okay, so that's a book. So is it like every time there's a book, it's going to like flip me to a, a Edie story? gave a big interview about a, a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Every time I read a book, is it, or when there's a book, is that going to be kind of like I jump to like living their life? Um, or in some, you're going into their story, however that story is told. Yeah. Gotcha. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long time long time hmm. oh okay she's named after okay Seventy-two year old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. one summer they evacuated the island but edie refused to go for a few weeks she was a celebrity hmm when Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Hmm. Have you ever read the author of this? Is it kind of inspired by stories from like his or her life? Oh, that's a great question. I would certainly hope not with the things. That we, but like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Or just it's maybe so, like weird, weird stories around the world or anything. Yeah. It's so detailed. Yeah. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Hmm. Oh. Now, does do any of you, because I had a grandparent that had this exact bathroom with the pink carpet and the pink, like, uh, whatever ceramic Actually, and counter and everything you know what's crazy i have not thought about this but one of my grandmas did have something like yeah. this she had like the little toilet seat that had the fuzzies yep. on top of it and i have not thought about that it was actually my That's grandpa's wild. the only trace grandpa sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom and they and she had a pink one, right. and then next to it was the blue one. Same exact thing, but blue. So it's boys and girls because <laughs> girls are pink <laughs> and boys are blue. <laughs> That's funny. So silly. Mm. Elbows okay. thinks you hate this game actually, and you're not saying anything, and he knows you. So we're we're paying attention, <laughs> Paul. We're paying... <laughs> Elbows, let's be honest. We've drift we've drifted apart over the p number of years. So maybe I'm just. You don't developed. know him. <laughs> you don't. You don't know me. That's what I'm trying to say. I was trying to say it very politely, but you don't know me. Don't be polite. Elbows. I'm complex. I'm so complex now. Elbows. <laughs> oh, I don't think I have another key. So I can <laughs> break it. Oh, really? Okay. It it just let Let's you. Go. Okay. Yeah. 
I don't think I got another key though. There's a I, I was looking at the chat at the time. Okay. There's a secret in this bag. Oh, you gotta turn the pages. Oh wait, can you pull the little tabs? Yay! Oh yeah, yeah. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. That was a pretty cool mechanic turning it each direction. Mm -hmm. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. Hmm. He never put it down. I will be quizzing you on all these details, Paul. Okay, so I'm sorry. So Sam <laughs> is the husband. Sven. Oh, of, Sven? No, Sven was a... Oh, Sam. Who, I don't... So they say I, they gave Sam... <laughs> so Odin was... Oh, you know what? I, I know. Oh, yeah. Let's there we go. This. There we go. There we go. Yep. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of people. Yep. Got it. And you okay, will cool. encounter all of them. And they're so Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, more Milton. Is Milton like Bruno from Encanto and he's just like living in the walls? I will not confirm or deny. <laughs> um, interesting. Which means Ooh, saving. Nothing. <laughs> oh, because you're in another room now. Look at that. Saving, guys. It's about to go down. Classic sharing room situation. Tape or string a rope right down the middle. <laughs> Got it. Sam and Calvin. I okay. knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Grandpa Sam. Uh -huh. Oh, we both okay. did. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that he never talked about him. Mm. Ooh. So cutely directive, wasn't that? <laughs> yeah, that was. more than my mom did. He was telling me, hey, dum dum, this Wee! way. This way, hello. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. How I Want to Remember My Brother mm. by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Here we go. Mm. Now, for those of you that haven't played it, Paul's actually controlling the swing right now. The another mushroom. And he oh, did. I see. Yeah. It's really Barbara fun. Came, he swore <laughs> he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Oh, here we go. One more. Stop! Calvin! Nope, I'm busy flying. Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Oh, I see. Maybe okay. if I hadn't said that. Nothing's impossible. I'll show you. Maybe if the one time picked up. And maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Mm, don't like it. Oh, no. I think he'd already made up his mind. Who maybe hasn't not tried to... Cliff, kid. That's yeah. what I want to remember about my brother. He did it! He did it! <laughs> the day he made it to my fly. And he did it. And that's how he died. Okay. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. All right, kids, when I was don't younger, try I to do that. To the exact same thing. Everybody tries to do that now. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a little funny. I mean, it's it's sad, but it's because it's it's like a feeling that everybody knows. Like you've everybody. I think I think anyway. Everybody's tried to do that. Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Isn't it cool to like be on the swing though, like and doing it? Like there's this, I don't know, such gratification. He got some height. Like some not only height. did he get height, but like he just man, he uh it's too bad he didn't hit the water. Like he could have lived. <laughs> He could have just hit oh. it very hard. Yeah, right. That's true. He could have hit it hard. Oh, you know what? Maybe or drown. his sister, the shark, just swallowed him up. He was the one. When he hit the water. That's it. We got it. We got it. They're all tying together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I agree, Masi. A swing on the edge of a cliff is a choice. <laughs> that's the parents take all the blame on that one. That's like, definitely what I was thinking when I first saw this too. stop smiling this is about death <laughs> can't. okay so can't so she roped off the area his bedroom did she rope off the swing because right. that's mom said grab a sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again mm -hmm. what does the hand need to do oh oh <laughs> so fun Pull out. There we go. Pull Little up. up. Little up. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Zachary. Um, we don't think we're going to hear about Molly anymore. Like, I thought maybe we'd find something, but I, I don't think you really do. Zachary says, don't think we'll hear about Molly again if, you know, it makes sense to tell you now. So what there isn't like, from what everybody says that's played this, we don't really... It's not like you find it anywhere. It's more like mm -hmm. theories that's been discovered. And um, and actually, Zachary, you kind of summed it up nice. Let me see if I could find that. Okay. Um, so there's a few different things. That's It's theory, but it makes sense. So basically died of all the toxic, inedible shits she ate because she was starving. And the berries um, she ate, which are highly toxic. So the, like the specific stuff, um, it made her hallucinate dream feel like she was flying around whatever it was um but essentially died of, of poisoning which um again isn't explicitly said but if you looked into what those substances were back then and what was included like what was the ingredients and stuff it makes sense okay that makes yeah that makes a lot of sense i was also wondering if anybody wants to look it up on google um what what is what can a gerbil have that a human could get because you mm -hmm. did eat the gerbil food so yeah. I don't know if some dribble saliva. Oh, I remember looking at when I was looking that up too, like years ago, and I feel like wasn't the gerbil dead too? I think the gerbil oh. was dead too, and that was a clue that it was related to the gerbil food. Like there was poison stuff within the gerbil food as well, and the combination of that and the toothpaste. That sounds familiar what, to me. What if her parents got tired of cleaning the gerbil cage? I know that and feeling. thought, yeah, let's let's kill this animal yeah and what they really did was kill their daughter yeah i think that's I think, a lot of guilt and then we'll find out how they died soon i'm sure <laughs> yay oh my God. the passages of were a pretty tight fit you know what is it that... obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies here's a million dollar idea if anybody wants a business <laughs> is there any business out there that specializes in like making secret rooms or oh, like I'm passageways sure. because I'm like, yeah. who, who doesn't like lose their mind when you find like a secret passage? So like fun, right? Yeah. And it's like, you know, people as they're getting older and they got more money and they're like, how do I spend it? Build Smart a secret Paul. passage. Smart. Paul. I don't know. Do it. Okay. Do it. Oh, I just got to learn how to do carpentry and anything else of value. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can pitch these ideas, but I can't do anything with them. Yep. Elbows, huh? You want to start a business uh, building secret uh, uh, spaces? Give me a call. Well, I'm sure Elbows oh. would have some ideas of what to do in the spaces. Not sure <laughs> they want to actually build them, but you know, we'll find out. That's true. <laughs> Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Hmm. Oh, okay. We're in Barbara's room. 
oh my god this poor kid lived in one movie and just that became her life yeah yikes I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Hmm. Elbow says black top passages. I like it. <laughs> okay. Got a business partner. All set. Nice. Uh, let's work on some seed funding and yeah. uh, mm -hmm. let's make this a reality. Of all the stories Finch. people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. So I'm calling it The Surprise Ending. Is that the Crypt Keeper? Finch. <laughs> that sounds really Crypt Keeper. They're trying to imitate it, yeah. Yeah. Barbara was famous for her scream. <laughs> now at 16, she was all washed up. I has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Barbara. Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. <laughs> I'd like oh, to see your jacket. <laughs> Ed's current boyfriend, Rick, oh, was no. about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw oh, and God. had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. Oh, break up. I tried. A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to. That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a this key is great. The music box. The There's a key in the music box. Winding. Yes. And whining. You're right. Until finally, the key pops out. Oh. Thanks, I'll be back in a sec. You're so right. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. Uh -oh. So Barbara went to look for him. Uh -oh. Right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick. Oh, didn't have to actually do so much. <laughs> what? Get out of here. Yes. Trigger warning. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Wow, they got the music to this? That's awesome. Yeah, right? I wonder if it's modified enough, but it doesn't sound like it is. Oh no. Is his head in here? No. Okay. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who what? impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. I'm... This game, I really like it. Right? It's really great. It's so cool. I'm it's so, so cool. It's just so different. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Rick? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused. And yeah, blame her, Rick. She threw him out. Good. But she put a little something to remember him by. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? 
and she was still <laughs> holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Oh, okay, no. Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. He just might be... Oh, no. No. Walter, are you there? Walter he vanished, but his bits and radio was still on. Orcas Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. What? I returned. Saw the hook man and was speechless. He was quite smashing. And because he couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara, there's got to be another way out of here. You can do it. She played her part beautifully. Molly and I didn't grow. Oh my god. Beat this guy to death. Oh no. The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. <laughs> so I'm like. From inside the house. <gasps> oh dear. Surprise! Bravo! You were wonderful. The monsters had come to surprise her. Oh, it was a dream. <laughs> okay. And she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with Wait. her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. <laughs> I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. <laughs> of course, the fans played it all on poor Rick. That's so he Crypt Keeper. The same mm, Rick disappeared the same night. Walter? Hmm. Hiding under his bed the whole time. Oh, okay. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. What? Her ear. Oh. Now that's oh. what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, is she going to talk about it? What do you, you think happened? There? Okay. Wanted was to be remembered, as mm. absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. 
so Edie created that comment or that comic, it sounds like, mm. to is it that's my interpretation of it anyway, to kind of preserve her in like dying in a famous light or dying in a way that like brought her fame, even if that's not really what happened. So what do you what do you think happened? Let us know in the chat too. I I mean, it sounds like she's just really depressed. Yeah. Like Definitely. I mean, 16 and she's like feels washed up and right like completely that's rough. child star with nothing else than the, i mean i'm sorry she has that very unfortunate scream right <laughs> um i feel like it was it, like it was the boyfriend that did it mm. and and wait walter right walter was hiding under the bed because like that happened um and it was scary but i mean i don't Got it. I don't know for sure. Like, and that seems like maybe that's like what they want you to think. I don't know. What do y'all think? Yeah. So I think it's interesting why. So if it was the boyfriend or whoever it was, like, why leave an ear? Yeah, like, that's that is a thing. very that's a very deliberate place. That to put seems an ear. really interesting there. So Zachary says, I think she fought. She um. Oh, I thought it said failed. Um, fell from the top floor and died from her injuries. Maybe. Yeah, again, why the ear then? Like, what's the ear all about? And usually, mm. like, killers want to take the trophies with them, so that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it was intended, maybe it wasn't. Um, Mossy says, I think she was kidnapped, murdered by either anonymous killers or by Rick. Yeah. But it's kind of cool, like, the way the story is passed down is in this. You know, she she got what she wanted in the end. It was great. She was famous, and it was her fans that congratulated her, you know? Yikes. It's really interesting. So Walter, <clears throat> so Walter was the one hiding underneath the bed. I think it was Walter, right? I, I said Milton yeah. accidentally earlier. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Walter though. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's, so it's Walter. I wonder if he accidentally scared her and she, like she fell off the top. Yeah. And broke her neck or something. But why would she, like that ear part's weird. That ear maybe part's Walter, weird. Maybe Walter did it. Maybe Walter's weird. I don't remember. <laughs> and yeah, this I whole family's a little nuts. I th yeah. I thought that um that when she had the the crutch or you know that she was banging things around with, I thought she was going to murder the kid accidentally dressed up and he was scaring her because I didn't remember what was gonna happen. And it was actually yeah. his death story and not hers. I had a mm. flash where I felt <laughs> like that was gonna happen and I was really uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah. So we are getting close to our, our um, 90 minute mark, um, but okay. maybe one more. What do you, yeah. what, do you want to try? Um, Let's see where we get. Yeah. This game has got me. I'm it's hooked. so good, right? It's yeah. so good. Yeah. Sam, let me look up how long this one is too. Just so. It's so good. Okay. All right. Nothing else in here. You know, too, I wonder, like, oh, if yeah. there are clues here. Right, like before point. you leave the room? Yeah, like, maybe maybe I wonder if each room has, like, the story, which is, like, fantastic, and then, like, the details here. Yeah, I honestly don't remember. Of, yeah, I, I, I do. Wonder. I honestly, though, do remember looking up a lot of things, and it there's was still a lot of speculation about everything. So I don't, I don't know if there really is. I feel like that would have been found, but yeah, I don't know. Do you remember? It, there used to be a TV show. I don't remember the name of it. I think it might have been on Nickelodeon, like way back in the day, where people were like put into rooms that were like full of tons of junk, and they had to find like very specific certain things. And they had to like wander through all the junk to find it. Do you remember that show? What was it again? It was like a competition where like each kid. Yeah, it sounds was, like, so familiar. I don't remember what it is. If anybody knows in the chat, but this game feels like that. Like there's so many things in these yes. rooms. I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like it was a symbol of story. Don't leave yet. Um, I want to read okay. this just in case. But yeah, no, totally. Um, so Zachary says, by the way, the railing she pushed the hookman from is broken in the house. So it's not mm. like giving away anything, but there are these like little details that, you know, show 
the truths, you know, because they're not necessarily all accurate, which is also points out what Masi was saying. It's tricky because it's not necessarily a reliable retelling of the story in, in any of the events. You know, it's like they're all just kind of passed down from stories within the family and nobody talks about it because they're cursed and, you know, they kind of yeah. keep things a lot secret. But yeah, there, so I think there are clues, but they don't necessarily tell you explicitly what it is hmm. in some cases. Oh, Thanks, sealed sir. up still. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh. Channel that 17-year-old body again. There you go. I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Um, hmm. Oh, and now I bet you can go to the music box. Oh, you're right. I yeah. Is my guess. And Zachary was asking earlier, like, if you already played this game and you tried the music box, can you get the key earlier and I, I don't know because when I played it obviously I didn't know that either you mm. know so that would be like an interesting thing to check is like play a new game and see if you can keep cranking it and you're totally right it's it's broken right there oh yeah yeah, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. so like that happened whatever yeah it was it's funny all those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key okay Crank away. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was trying to remember what was in the basement, but okay, it's coming yeah, back. Yeah, like now that you saw that whole story too of, of her slashing through with the crutch, you've also Mom's like seen some of this. Off limits, yeah, it's kind of weird to walk shot. through it now. <laughs> it's so creative how they do that though. It's so intentional and like they take you through something and so now you're in the space that's just like a normal basement, but now you have emotions about it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is... That is, man, it's just so, it's the so game good. is so well designed. So good. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Oh, how dare she? Why would she do such a thing? Oh, and the I fridge, see? Hiding presents. Don't okay. you feel like you're going to open it and something's going to jump out at you now? Yeah. Oh, oh no. What is happening? There we go. What? I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Oh, so Walter, who obviously witnessed whatever he witnessed, probably yeah. had some significant issues after. I think I've asked you before, do you like scary movies? I I don't not like them. Um, I I used to like them more than I do now. I think like as you, as you get older, it's like it, it's like things are too real. Um, yeah. And especially paranormal paranormal related things, it's it, it's a little it it's funny how those feel more real to me than like you know someone's in your house type stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe it's a control thing, like you know, like oh something's happening and I I can't change it because it's out of my realm of understanding. I don't know what it is. Dad, he got yeah. He could. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say like, there's a movie that came out called barbarian. Okay. I won't say, I won't say anything more, but this game in certain ways is kind of giving me barbarian vibes. Okay. So okay. it's a really good movie. Like if you like horror films, like go, you like watch it. Anybody. Okay. Yeah. It's, but it's, it's a trip. It's a trip. All right, I'll have to remember that. But I, I won't say anything. I'm if there's off. a pattern in all these stories. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. This is nuts. Yeah. 
Walter. So what's interesting is like mm. somebody has like set up all these little monuments. You know what I mean? Like, right. It's it's interesting. Now is the thumbnail to this live making more sense, Paul, <laughs> with our faces? In yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's right you said the picture i didn't look at the picture you said it was above us in one of the rooms right the of the the picture you used oh, for our cover uh, for for the one for me was molly's the first kid the kid one that was the one that i used the one for you hasn't been seen yet got it yeah <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Uh, I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. Whoa. 30 years? On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. What? Oh, gosh. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's Zachary what kids are saying. Zachary said, oh, yeah, the game that make me stop Having a schedule, by getting candy peaches. For today. <laughs> oh. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. Oh, 1976 now. Oh, my God. I gotta, I'm going to do pizzas again. Oh, yeah, baby. A little repetition. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. And Almost you're controlling friendly. this, right? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, my peach game is real good. It's really good. It looks so yeah. smooth. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how it and goes down. Day, everything just stop. Okay, 2005. This is when he said he died. It said he died. Whatever that thing. Look was, at his arms. Like they're all gone. spotted and stuff. Maybe. Yeah, Maybe. that's good. So there's all these like shakings. And then it just stopped. Yeah, because a little chef guy, a little chef exist. guy, didn't fall over. Yeah. Mm. It's been a week now, the longest in thirty years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave, while well, I still can. Oh my gosh. So he's down here because. There was starting to be some like shaking. Well, that was his, what he thought anyway. I don't okay. think it's clear if there actually was like an earthquake, but he was talking about the monsters out there. Okay. And like they're like maybe they've stopped or so. I mean, it could very well be I was traumatized. That's my thought is I was traumatized by whatever happened with Barbara that I created I know this it's out there somewhere, you know, thing. This is wild. Whatever killed Barbara. Yeah. And Molly. The curse. And Calvin. Mm. Maybe this is all a mistake. Ooh, sledgehammers creep me out. But I need to stop living the yeah. same day. What? Even if it kills me. I think they're just like so they can do so much damage so violent yeah it, it, it's yeah such visceral damage yeah like whatever's out there i want you to know i'm ready for it wait so i really appreciate all of it especially the food <laughs> no more peaches i don't mind if i only have a year left or a month or a single week I'd be happy with one new day. Dang. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Oh, no! <laughs> Just step to your left, you dumb dumb. After 30 <laughs> years? <laughs> How? My mom never told me he was down here. How did this family line make it this long? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't How know. How did they possibly make it? 
Oh, Walter. They had a, they just had a lot of initial children, I think. <laughs> God. Yeah. Um, poor sweet man. Poor, poor sweet man. So it looks like we, how many stories have we done so far? Um, uh, it looks like, I want to see how, uh, so any of the ones with the pictures on them now so are the ones we four. finished. So, or is it five at the top? Or, There's, oh, I guess, Edith yeah, is five her, is herself. So that doesn't really count. Okay. So, and obviously uh, it takes a bit to figure out how to get in the house and stuff. So it goes a little smoother. Hi, Eileen. I think we're just wrapping up, unfortunately. <laughs> Thanks for coming um, by. We, we, well, and I, I want to do a little shout out too for Eileen, but, um, we are capping um, 90 minutes, but we're we're coming back. I don't know if we decided it's going to be next week. Did we decide it's going to be next Wednesday or we we not confirm that yet? I think we're like 80% of the way yeah. confirmed. Yeah. So. And I think we'll either finish up the game then um, or we'll get really close to it then for part two, for sure. Um, Cause I know it speeds up a little bit after this, um, but perfect timing with Eileen coming in. So amazing first patron patron <laughs> in uh, my Patreon is Eileen. And we are I'm so excited because we're going to do a um, life strange true colors. We're going to work on a couple testing items together. Um, I think not this weekend, but next weekend. So um, super excited to kind of fi find out some of the things that, um, you know, we're like, huh, this didn't seem right. Or, what is this about? And we're going to work on it together. So if anyone wants to join us, not this weekend, but next one, check out my Patreon for, for uh, details on that. But um, That's cool. yay, I'm glad you're here. And I'm sorry that we're ending right now, but you can go back to the beginning and watch it. <laughs> um, so but yeah. if we do, if we do it next week, it'll be the same time right like that's kind I'm, of what good. We're I'm good with that yeah so it yeah. will likely be the same time wednesdays either close to every wednesday or something like that so our, our goal here is to be more consistent smaller chunks mm -hmm. um because we got a lot of stuff to do we got we got a lot of games to get through we have a big list paul <laughs> yeah the backlog is getting big <laughs> it is getting, both of us are like wait what about this like every day <laughs> mm -hmm. so true. we got a lot what are your um we're not going to officially do ratings yet because we're not done with the game but what what's your general I, it sounds like you're into the game you like it a lot what what's your overall thoughts so far though uh like it's the perfect amount of like weird and poetic and it's just like yeah it's real interesting and yeah. i feel like it's one of those it's a game where it's like it's it's as deep as you want it to be like you can explore the room and put together theories. I feel like people, I feel like this game probably blew up because people love to just kind of like theorize. And there's like a lot yeah. of stuff out there to like make theories about, which is really cool, which is really cool. I like it a lot. It doesn't throw in your face every, you know, here is what happened here. And this is what happened here. It's, it's like such a creative take on a very interesting, bizarre family story. Um, yeah. And you get, you have the chance to kind of create your own, vision of what it means and it's also mm -hmm. beautiful and terrifying and horrifying at the same time yeah oh i'm so glad i'm so glad you like it i love it it's yeah really unique i like it it's very cool so elbows you are wrong you are wrong elbows <laughs> <laughs> elbows did you play this game have you have you done this have you played it i think you well you're watching it so you're kind of playing in a way. I th I thought you had said that you or thought you made a comment that you had like alluded to that you had. So I'm not sure though, but yeah. So um, any what are um, I, I again? I don't want to say favorite <laughs> stories on this so far, but what was like out of the ones that we did? Was there one that kind of stood out to you as the most interesting or the most fun to do? M Molly was just I think because so Molly was like the first one. It was so bizarre. Well, you had no idea what was going on. And and no yeah. concept for how this this worked either. The game worked, yeah. Calvin's made Calvin's was like sweet because it's like all kids kind of like yeah. I'm gonna do that, but it was kind of like funny in its presentation in a weird way because he just kind of like flew like yeah. right off that cliff for a while. Right. Um, I thought that Barbara, I thought Barbara's present the presentation of that one was really, really cool. Like very clever. So cool and clever. It. Yeah. And actually yeah. speaking of that, Zachary, I think you are absolutely right. That is that is exactly what it was. And I forgot. <laughs> this is talking about the last one we did, Walter. So he didn't know about the train and he was scared of it every day. That was the rumbling. Oh my God. 
One oh day the God, train was right. late and he thought the monster was gone. So he tried to go out and got hit by the train eventually. That yeah. So I think he oh, I think he went no. what did it say? Did it say that when he was down there? I don't remember. Like he went down there in the beginning and and it always was like that? Or or did it start when he was already down there for a while? Because that would make sense. Like the train was like he already kind of like hid himself down there because of what for whatever reason and then all of a sudden this train was created and ran through there more and then it seemed weird that he would like go down there at all mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know so i'm wondering if it was kind of a combination of like the reason he went down there i'm curious about in the first place yeah i don't i don't, I don't remember yeah that i don't remember what it said time. i know yeah but that, and, no that makes so much sense. Thank you, yeah. Zachary, because that makes sense. It happened at 12 o'clock every day. Yeah, right. So those peaches, definitely nasty. Awesome. Well, I'm excited. The next one, um, I just am looking at the stories that were next to get sort of timing. The next one I remember, I think it takes a little bit of time. So this is this is a good time to stop for us today. So thank you, everybody, for joining in. I know we did not hold Max attention, Paul, not because of us. It wasn't our fault. Mac was not into the game. It was too too much death. So mm, it's a lot of death. missing out, missing out on the beauty. Just couldn't handle Molly. Just couldn't handle it. So you know, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah. But we will see. We'll we'll find out. Um, we'll plan on either next Wednesday or the one after, and we'll yeah. let y'all know when we'll hit part two. And then we are gonna do Road ninety six too. So after mm -hmm. we're done with Edith, we'll hit Road ninety six and then the rest of our list. <laughs> And I, I think far less death in Road 96. So if um, you're like, oh, I want well, oh, not necessarily. Okay, sorry. There, I'm spreading it, There's lines. less. No, there's less. Um, but you can still die. There's still potential of death and violence. <laughs> but but in a different way. It has a different vibe completely. <laughs> our, our live streams are basically um, playing with heart, body count edition. I we really just, should start a body count. Should we? It's just <laughs> called body count. <laughs> oh, I, I, I missed this earlier. Um, oh gosh, I can't remember. Was it Masi? You somebody said um, that uh, with oh, I think it was in response to Max saying like too much death or something. Was like, well, at least Paul's not the one in charge of killing them this time. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, I'll never live it down. I'll, oh, I'll, I'll apologize every live stream. And good good segue into this because Zachary just also said, and in Road 96, if someone dies, it will be your fault, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the difference. <laughs> and I and I trust that you will always be there to remind me who yes. I killed and yep. what lives I've ruined. It, it, it will happen. Not so much as, as Life is Strange, but, but yes, it will happen. Captain Kid, I, yes, unfortunately, we are ending right now. We're capping it at about 90 minutes today. But yes, watch it later, and we'll hit part two next week, week after, somewhere nearby today. Mm -hmm. um, but thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. This was fun. Yeah, thanks, everybody. We'll talk soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>